When I was a kid, the disaster we worried about most was a nuclear war. That's why we had a barrel like this down in our basement, filled with cans of food and water. When the nuclear attack came, we were supposed to go downstairs, hunker down, and eat out of that barrel. <laughs> Today, the greatest risk of global catastrophe doesn't look like this. Instead, it looks like this. If anything kills over 10 million people in the next few decades, it's most likely to be a highly infectious virus rather than a war. Not missiles, but microbes. Now, part of the reason for this is that we have invested a huge amount in nuclear deterrence, but we've actually invested very little in a system to stop an epidemic. We're not ready. For the next epidemic, officials here say they objected to what they say is China's blatant global disinformation campaign. American officials have pointed to this tweet from a spokesman for China's Ministry of Foreign Affairs, saying, "Quote: It might be U.S. Army who brought the epidemic to Wuhan. Be transparent. Make public your data. U.S. owe us an explanation." So this is a big world problem. Uh, we've taken some bold steps. We took the original boldest step of all when we closed very early with China. Fox News has been told that the president is likely to declare a national state of emergency. Is the administration considering more aggressive containment、uh, options, like a quarantine, a national curfew? We're coming out with strong suggestions, and you know it's becoming a little bit automatic. You look at people; they're not doing certain things. People are、uh, self-containing for. To a large extent, are you considering instituting a nationwide lockdown? At this point, not、uh, nationwide. There are concerning reports coming out of France and Italy about some young people getting seriously ill and very seriously ill in the ICUs. We think part of this may be that people heeded the early data coming out of China and coming out of South Korea that the elderly or those with pre-existing medical conditions were at particular risk. The crisis is growing by the hour, both here in the U.S. and around the world. There are now more than a quarter million people in the United States suffering from the virus. The death toll over 7,000 and rising rapidly. The major change in guidance: the CDC now recommending all Americans wear face coverings amid new concerns the virus can spread just by talking. This is voluntary. I don't think I'm going to be doing it. So I'm pleased to report that within two weeks. The first payments will be direct deposit into taxpayers' account. And as the president said last night, the president authorized me to say that anybody that has Social Security recipients won't need to file a new tax return, and we'll have that.、Uh, I actually put out a report. On tobacco cessation earlier this year, and we know that states have different laws there, and more people will die, even in the worst projections, from cigarette smoking in this country than are going to die from、uh, from coronavirus this year. Welcome to Sunday. As of this morning, there are more than 300,000 confirmed cases in the United States, and well over 8,000 deaths. The federal government is now acknowledging that, in a best-case scenario, somewhere between 100,000 and 240,000 Americans. Are likely to die from this virus. One point of comparison: that's more Americans than died fighting in Korea and Vietnam combined. This is going to get worse before it gets better, for sure. Should there be a national stay-at-home order? I don't understand why that's not happening.
letting you do this stuff, but actually you can't leave anything around here because this is still a lot of I know there's no cars, there's nothing going on, but... <laughs>